we will continue to work with you and to cooperate with you to bring development to that one and to Ghana as a, as a whole. Uh, as a Nagumba grandson of yours, we appreciate all the work you have done for us and bringing about peace, which has paved way for accelerated development uh, in that one. But we also know your contribution towards national development in, in general through your education fund and other numerous initiatives that have attracted investment to our country. We appreciate that so much. And we want to thank you for all these services to our country and to our people. Uh, my grandfather, uh, soon after I was appointed to take over from my boss, the Honorable Ken of I knew that this palace was going to be a constant place of visit for me because of the wisdom God has endowed you with, which you have always used to support leader after leader to steer the affairs of our country. Uh, many people do, do not know, but I've come to you several times. The last time I came to you was just last month, and I'm, and I'm here again to see your blessings and your wise counsel. Uh, you are at the palace, but you know everything going around Ghana. You hear, you read about it. And so anytime uh, there is need to call me to come for guidance, I know that you will not hesitate uh, to call me. Uh, I will come on my own to seek your, your counsel. And as you have always been really available to give me your counsel, I know that you will continue to, to give me the, the advice. Uh, this office is a very challenging office, especially at this time. It's only wise counsel from you that will uh, guide me uh, through this job su successfully. Uh, Ashanti region is a very important region in our country. Uh, natural resource endowment uh, in this region, which uh, through uh, its contribution to revenue, to economic growth, have brought our country this far. We cannot forget that. And this is why it's important to reciprocate by ensuring that the development the people of Ashanti so much is that this is brought to the doorsteps of the, of the people. Uh, so many projects are ongoing across the region, uh, particularly for roads. The Minister of Finance has been making a lot of payments to contractors. And I want to assure you, we will continue to pay, we will even accelerate it, so that the many road contractors working around the region are able to speed up with the work to bring relief to the people. Uh, His Excellency the President has asked me to bring up his assurances to you about his commitment to complete uh, key projects that government has embarked on. Uh, on Farnochi Hospital, uh, uh, Kumasi International Airport, the Kegetia Market. He's given us a directive to bring attention to bear on these key projects. And therefore, we are making all the efforts to find the money and complete these projects. We have faced some difficulties as a result of which we have to go to the IMF, as a result of which we have to declare a debt suspension. And that has led to the stalling of so many projects, including these three key four projects I have mentioned. But in spite of this, His Excellency the President has directed that the Minister of Finance finds money to ensure that these projects are done and completed. So we are going to bring agency and speed uh, to these projects so that uh, we can get them completed. I, I know that very soon His Excellency the President will make a huge pronouncement towards uh, uh, these projects and we are the Minister of Finance who will uh, implement the, the President's uh, orders and directives to ensure that these projects are completed for the benefit of the, of the people. Uh, when I leave here, I will go to the airport and of Ovanoji to see the state of uh, affairs of, of the works so that uh, uh, they will guide me on how we can ensure that we carry out His Excellency the President's directives to, to the letter. Uh, my grandfather uh, is the reason I'm here to yes. seek your blessings uh, as I start work at the Ministry of Finance and to assure you 
that as I have done uh, always, uh, I'll, I'll always be uh, before you for your wise counsel and for your guidance. So I thank you once again. God bless you.